Congresswoman Kay Granger is the ranking member of the House Foreign Operations Appropriations Subcommittee. She's joined with her colleague, Chairwoman, Chairwoman Nita Lowy, to ensure robust funding and global health. We're very grateful for her deep commitment to the health and well-being of women and girls around the world. She just returned from the CARE Learning Tour to Peru, and she will share her thoughts on that trip, and you can see some fantastic photos around the room uh, that illustrate some of the poignant moments that, that she had personally on that trip. We may be joined in a little while, also by Congressman uh, Luis Gutierrez, who also participated on the trip. There's a photo of him there in the back. He's very committed to advancing policies that help women and girls break the cycle of poverty. He's debating finance reform at the moment, and we hope that he joins us, and if he does, we'll allow him to speak a few words and, and then go back to our question and answers. Our other distinguished panelist is Christy Turlington Burns, who is known to many of us as a beautiful and gracious fashion model. And she has, in recent years, turned her attention and considerable influence and used her platform to raise awareness about maternal health as CARE's maternal health advocate. Most recently, she directed and produced a documentary film about global maternal health called No Woman, No Cry. It was premiered at Tribeca, and we'll talk about that during the question and answer period. Last but not least is the infamous Dr. Mark Dival, the distinguished <laughs> scholar at the O'Neill Institute for Global and National Health Law at Georgetown University. Many of you would know Mark as the ambassador for President Bush's life-saving global AIDS program, PEPFAR. He's also an advisor to the Mother's Day Every Day campaign, and he recently has been announced as the Global Health Fellow at the George W. Bush Institute, where he will direct the planning of a conference on global health and the important issue of integrated health services. I'm delighted that I get to continue to work with Mark on these and many other projects. Now, in order to facilitate a dialogue with our panelists, I'm going to ask each of you a question, and I think we'll be able to get to at least two for each of you. And then we'll open the discussion to questions from our audience, which we would very much appreciate um, your working with, with us and, and asking some questions of our guests. Congresswoman Granger, I'm going to start with you. But before we um, ask you to speak, we would like to show a brief clip from your, from your recent trip, and then you can comment on your experience on the learning tour. <laughs> 